right? The the world is changing. Credits, by the way. The, the, like, everything's starting to kind of disappear. Like, he didn't go back and do what he was supposed to do. So now, the precursors have to come back. And he has to go on the adventure that he opted out of to stay with Daxter. That's what I think should happen. Oh, because they can't have the fourth game without Daxter. So, I mean, because of time travel, they can do whatever they want. Hotness. Oh, God, yeah. All right, let's look at these. Let's look at these names. All right, I want to... All right, uh, like I'm always going to do, I want to thank Naughty Dog for making this game. I want to thank them for making a game in the future because it, it has to happen. For the love of God, it has to happen. And there's uh, cuteness, uh, maybe. I mean, she's not hot. She's not like Ashlyn. <laughs> but she's still... I mean, she's still like curvy and a woman. So, I mean, and she's cute, I guess. Alright, I'm not saying any of these names, but alright. Osiris. Ugh. Cleaver. Cleaver's before Sig? Come on. I guess by order of appearance. Um, I clan. Naughty Dog, totally everything belongs to Naughty Dog. And the bonus videos, I'm gonna have to like put in the description, you know. <laughs> I, I don't own this. Some of the, some of the, some of the bonus videos. Um, there's Onan. Yeah, so it's been a good LP. I'm gonna show all the fails for the final boss because they are so gay. You know, I mean, I think you need to see all of them to understand just how tough this boss is. Like, it's bad. Daxter, Max, Cassera, awesome. Michael Irwin, you are awesome. Same as Lauren Burton. Tara Strong, yeah. Phil Lamar. Phil Lamar, yeah, yeah. Chris Cox, you are hilarious. David Herman. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Susan Eisenberg, you are probably hot in real life. I just think you're hot. Richard McGonagall. <laughs> like Professor McGonagall. Richard McGonagall has a bitchin' voice. He should just do that in real life. MD. Um, Cutter Mitchell. Cutter Mitchell. Yeah, Cutter Mitchell does a few. Bumper Robinson. You are, have an epic voice. Brian Bloom. Uh, Tara Strong. You are... You do Seam and Akira. Weird. Richard McGonagall. Precursor one. <laughs> David Herman. David Herman. The other two. Richard McGonagall, obviously, because it's the same thing. Cutter Mitchell, Brian Bloom, Chris Cox, they just used over and over again. And the testers, you're all lucky, sons of bitches. I'm just gonna say that about you. Um, yeah, so the bonus videos, I'm not even gonna say that I'm gonna do kiosks, because I might, and because I have the book, I know which kiosk is what, so I might be able to show you, like, one of each. Um, I'll be showing, like, some of the secrets that are unlocked after you beat the final game. There's gonna be, like, a string of, like, maybe, like, ten bonus parts that I might upload all, just, like, consecutively, that are pretty epic, and those are the ones that I'm gonna have to say. I claim no rights to this. Totally Naughty Dog. It's totally Naughty Dog's content. I just want to show you people, everyone that might not have, have seen it before. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, you heard my theory. I think that the perfect fourth game from Naughty Dog would be that Jack does have to go back in time, like time travel. Maybe not like over and over again, but like back to back to Sandover Village to see what happens after the Melheads like 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 come to the world, and that 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 should be right around Mars time, right? Because I mean. You can look up, like, uh, a timeline online. I'm sure Naughty Dog has an official timeline. They should. It's like, I think 300 years in the f is the difference. So, I mean, it, it seems like 300 years would be... Like, 300 years ago would be Mars time. Like, Jack goes back to his original time from the first game. Like, to, his, like, the, to like the time where he was trained, right? And he goes back, and it's just... Per and he he assumes the name Mar instead of Jack because he looks totally different. People probably wouldn't recognize him in the world. And, you know, he, yeah, he's wearing his armor. I forget. Oh my god, I might have to look. In the final cutscene, I don't know if he's wearing his armor when he comes back because that would that would seal the deal, right? If he's not wearing his armor, that means he went back and placed all the armor where it's supposed to be. Sig, here, yeah, love you, bitch. Um, and. If he is wearing the armor, that means that definitely my idea is basically what Naughty Dog had in mind. Because they said there's many more adventures. So it only makes sense that you would play through as Mar. 
I mean, you wouldn't do this stuff like building the city, but you would explore the eco mines before they're drilled. You know, perfect for platforming. And platforming, I mean, now nowadays, seriously, platforming has become either like Uncharted, or there are three possibilities: either Mario, which is always you know Mario special thanks, yeah, 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 to everyone. It's everyone at Sony, everyone at Naughty Dog, totally you. You're awesome. Right, all right. Now, oh damn it! Like, like platforming is basically one of three things: either it's Mario, which is always good, no matter what. Always like, like expanding on on the Mario original, like taking what it was, expanding, 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 like the universe. Ha ha ha! And um, <laughs> and then there's the Assassin's Creed Infamous type, where you just like climb walls and you can climb everything, and no matter how high of the fall, your arm doesn't rip out of its socket. And um, and then there's Uncharted, which isn't even really platforming anymore. Really, that's just more storytelling with puzzles. Those are that's really puzzles, not really platforming. At least in my in my opinion of platforming, which is like a Jack game or a Mario game. You know, you climb stuff. There, are, it's kind of like a puzzle, but you eventually get to a goal that rewards you for going around like a huge area and just jumping and platforming. Like that's my idea of it. Um, yeah, so, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna do every kiosk, cause I am not gonna do every kiosk, there are like hundreds. I'm gonna do enough kiosks, and I'm, I'm gonna do maybe one of each type, I don't even know, I might just do, like, kiosks, just, and I'm gonna do enough to buy the secrets that I want, and I'm gonna leave this playthrough ready. And obviously, I'm gonna do the orb hunts in the ruins because that section's not really big. That should take maybe three minutes of video with with edits, ten like maybe like twenty minutes of searching because obviously I've forgotten some of the ones that I got. I forget which ones I got. I could look back, but I don't know. You can oh, and I forgot to say you can't go back to the eco grid. I think I did say it actually. You can go back to the eco grid and do it again. You can do all the gun courses. Um, found all the orbs except in the ruins. You can buy upgrades for the guns. You don't need them anymore. Uh, the thing I will I will buy uh, the Ratchet and Clank gun course and beat it, or at least show you it. 